हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोसीजर फॉर एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम इंडिया राइट सो इफ एनी एनी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री फार्मास्यूटिकल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी इफ दे वांट टू एक्सपोर्ट देयर फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स मेडिसिन एनी फार्मुलेशन और एनी अदर डायग्नोस्टिक थिंग्स टू अदर कंट्रीज लाइक इन इन एशिया इट सेल्फ और इन यूरोप और इन सम वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड सो वाट इज द स्टेप्स दे आर गोइंग टू फॉलो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ द अप्रूवल इट इज गोइंग टू हैव राइट सो लेट्स डिस्कस द टॉपिक इट इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स राइट सो दीज आर द सर्टेन स्टेप्स मेजर स्टेप्स विच दे नीड टू टेक सो लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू अप्लाई फॉर IEC. What is IEC? Import Export Code Number, right? So there will be the one code number which will be identified for that particular uh, import uh, exporter or importer, right? So uh, uh, that code it will be ad uh, is unique number uh, which will be uh, just uh, giving the identification for that particular product of that particular company, right? So that is the that has to be applied. Then second step to contact the exporter of the countries. who are interested in importing the pharmaceuticals like if you are sending to the singapore or malaysia or uh, japan or australia somewhere we need to contact them uh, exporter right to their exporter that country exporter do, those who want to import our pharmaceutical products so that only uh, the deal can be finalized right so the third step it is register your product in the country where exporting suppose you are exporting to the australia so in australia the particular pharmaceutical product tablet capsule whatever doses form whatever the product it is there uh, by the indian company indian manufacturer so they have to register into that country in australia then only they can go forward so after registering they have to apply for approval for export form dcgi that's very important here to understand right dcgi drug controller journal of india into their office you have to apply for export that so and so product i want to export to the australia con country so these are the applications so uh, once they will review what is the things there right then they will give the approval then finalize the shipping method why how you are going to ship right by air by water or what is the mode of transport who are the agency are going to tra the traders distributor exporter and all those thing receive the purchase order we have to receive from their country from australia the person uh, the, the organization who is going to receive your product or want to purchase they they will give the purchase order po has to be released then the preparation of commercial invoice first of all then uh, what is the cost and what are the tax uh, excise duty this that so many things has to be uh, uh commercial invoice has to be prepared then you have to sign the contract both the party the buyer and the, the seller then custom clearance it is going to happen right so uh, these things uh, it will be uh, generally these things it will be for all other products also but for pharmaceutical these are the uh, so in short how we can uh, uh, main steps how we can uh, uh, summarize here the entire thing first the ie code product registration approval order delivery these five words you should remember so that you can uh, uh, elaborate your answer into the exam ie code means the import export code apply for the code first once you have planned to export the particular products then product registration has to be done done into that country the registered product in the exporting country then approval approval from the export for export from the dcgi the drug control journal of india has to approve then order has to be received receive the purchase order from buyer or from that country that i have given the example australia right then delivery finalize the shipping method like uh, by traders exporter or uh, the supplier how you are going to uh, move uh, forward your particular products to that particular country so these are the major step that in india from india whenever any pharmaceutical product uh, if it is uh, the exporting to the other country so they are these are the certain step they have to follow the particular pharmaceutical industry has to follow for the selling of their product in international market thank you